Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Dawn of Man. In this uh, city builder game, basically life begins with the prehistorical age. There are really few um, city builder games which actually go with a prehistorical, um, let's say, uh, theme. But Dawn of Man is one of the few uh, games which do that. Okay, so let's begin a, uh, a game. I'm gonna play uh, on the river fork. So let's see how everything goes. And this is pretty much the very beginning of my civilization. So here it begins, like every other, uh, let's say, uh, strategy game and pretty much city builder. We begin with a few people and a few houses. Guys, this game reminds me a lot of uh, the universe sim. And also, it reminds me of ancient cities. So, check out those uh, two games as well. Very interesting content. Okay guys, let's check the game out. Well guys, so far we set up the um, areas where they actually should uh, gather resources from. And right now I will uh, build some more houses, therefore there will be more room for our uh, cit citizens, our people, our tribe. Um, we're gonna have to speed up. Okay, there will be some more areas that uh, we're gonna have to build. A storage tent, for example, is necessary. I'm gonna build it there. Then we're gonna need a wood pile. I think we already have that. So I think I'm gonna go with a rock pile. We don't have rock pile, okay. And yeah, from here we're gonna need crafter. No, we already got a crafter. We do need, however, skin dryers. These are very important. Otherwise, we won't be able to use the fur of the animals. Uh, 
Okay, there we go, guys. Now let's wait for the miracles to happen. I'm not sure if they hunted anything. So basically, right now, I told my citizens, hey, go ahead and create tools continuously, as many as you need. Um, I can set up, create two uh, spears or two, I don't know, wooden harpoons, but that wouldn't be efficient. Okay, I can research stuff. I don't want to school. I can research stuff, I can manage stuff. So let's let's do that. This game is pretty much what uh, the universe sim should have been. I mean, the universe sim is extremely hard to play, to be honest. Extremely difficult to actually achieve some uh, population growth and everything. This game seems more friendly with the uh, with the players so I like that I had to skip for a little bit, so we got a trader in our uh, little village. So I'm gonna get some skin from him and some logs. Oh, trade value is really high. So I'm gonna have to provide something as uh, precious. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Now we got some skins, and we can use the skins for uh, creating our uh, huts. Yeah, I need dry skins. It looks like the designated areas for hunting does not work for me. Okay, so we're gonna go with the primal, the primal um, vision and we're gonna hunt this guy. I'm not sure if it's gonna work uh, or how is it gonna work or if it's gonna work any, any good. Oh, nice. A lot of sticks in this area. Okay, so let's watch how this animal gets hunted. It looks like a fierce, um, a fierce carnivore. It goes really far away from my... Whoa. 
but the hunters are coming so that pleases me yeah th this is really beautiful okay the animal is attacking my people but they managed to slay it nice and there is a dead animal over there so guys everything my people do it's pretty much giving them knowledge so the more they hunt the better they are gonna get at it so they're learning from their uh, from what they're doing if they make a fire they're learning from it and tomorrow they're gonna make the fire better okay there are no more branches there there are a lot of branches here so we are getting a lot of resources we also got a storage where we can store stuff okay we're slowly getting um, the leather the four from the animals we are really low on food now as far as I can remember food drying okay we need to research some stuff so let's research the food drying so this is basically where everything starts for me mm, looks good
Guys, let me give you some more uh, hints. Basically, right now I can domesticate dogs. And this is a dog, an old female dog, which I can slaughter by my own will, but I will not slaughter it. I really enjoy having these creatures along my side. Um, my uh, village, my little village, uh, my little settlement developed, so it expanded a little more. I'm gonna set up a hunting area over here, for example. And whenever necessary, they're gonna hunt. And right now I have 14 people. The spring is almost over. We have lots of food from fish, from uh, hunting. So we are, we're good, we're good. Why? Also, oh, this is a cave line, okay. Which, which has been slaughtered. I'm gonna set up another or I shouldn't. Now we're good with the areas that we have currently. I can collect tannin right now, which allows me to, to get some um, some things over here, the other uh, the tanner. This is not too happy, the morale is down. Not quite sure what can I do to improve the morale of that guy. Maybe send him hunting or something. There is a boar over here. A donkey which I will not kill. Go gather some more flint because I badly need it. And I'm gonna set up some area for gathering some more of these. So how is my population? Male children son. I have one ship, I guess, and one dog. One animal and one dog. I guess the dog is the animal. This is a male dog. Which I guess is protecting the village. Which can appreciate very much. We got a, a trader in our town. So what do we need from it? Dry skin, leather. Tannin. Some bones. Okay, we have a pretty high value to trade. We don't need tannin now. Yeah, and for sure we don't need bones, but we do need that leather, dry skin leather. I'm going to take the dry skin as well. What should I offer instead? Logs, which are not worth much. Some wooden harpoons, which are worth quite a while. Bone spear, slings. Okay, I'm not sure if the trade benefits me too much, but I am happy with it. So I guess that is what uh, matters. Truly matters over here. The boar escaped. It really ran away. Quite a lot. So let's hunt some other animals. Oh my god. Woolly Reno. Adult female, those are some pretty large animals. 
Yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna stop around here. Uh, maybe I'm gonna make a uh, video with the Mesolithic uh, period and then with the Neolithic, the Copper Age and the Bronze Age and the Iron Age in the end. Of course, this game is still work in progress. It's still the beta, if not alpha. I think the beta, yeah. So make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button and don't forget to check out my official sponsor G2Way.com if you're planning to buy anything from them use the SHD code to get your percent cash back. The link is in the description. Thank you a lot guys. Bye.